I love using compost. In my book, it's the single most important soil amendment you can add to your lawn or your garden or anywhere in your landscape. But what I really love is that you can make it for free. So not only is the price right, but you know exactly about the ingredients going into your compost pile. Now here's the downside. Most of us can't make as much compost as we'd like to have over a season or two. Even here at the garden farm where I'm adding inputs all the time, I don't even have enough to put into my garden and all the places around my landscape that I'd like. Now there's a reasonable solution for that. You could buy it by the bag, but unless you only need a few bags, that can get pretty expensive pretty quickly. Plus, unlike the compost that you make at home, how do you really know about the ingredients going into those bags that you buy at the store? Well, in a lot of cases, you don't. And for me, that's a real problem. Now, fortunately, there's a solution for that, and it's a good one. The U.S. Composting Council created a seal of testing assurance program, known as STA Compost, a while back to address these very concerns. Basically, it's a compost testing, labeling, and information disclosure program designed to give us the information we need to compare compost products and to get the maximum benefit from the use of compost as determined through a consensus of many of the leading compost research scientists in the U.S. The assessments include a predefined program of physical, chemical, and biological tests that could be performed by a group of independent certified labs across the country and in Canada. Compost manufacturers like this one can enroll in the program through the U.S. Composting Council. If accepted, they're required to regularly submit samples to an approved lab for testing their compost products. So naturally, it's in the best interest of the manufacturer to know what's coming in from their feedstock, since detection of unacceptable material or levels can prevent the STA certification approval. When a sample comes into the lab for testing, it will be analyzed for a number of properties, including pH, soluble salts, nutrients, organic matter, pathogens, and trace metals. These are all important factors in determining what goes into your garden soil. But first and foremost, the compost has to be safe for use. Two very unique tests included in the STA program are compost stability and seedling growth test. These really indicate when the compost is finished, mature, and ready to use. And only when the compost sample passes the rigid criteria for acceptance can the product have the right to use the STA program logo in their promotional materials. And that's what I do anytime I'm adding compost to my landscape or garden that I don't make myself. So how do you find it? The U.S. Composting Council has a compost locator map on their website to make that job easy to find by the bag or bulk. Chances are there's a location near you. And if you care to see the details, STA compost manufacturers are required to have current analysis information wherever products are sold. Just ask for it. For my money, buying in bulk offers a significant savings over bags. For example, one cubic yard of compost, about half a pickup truck load, that's what this is, is equal to roughly 27 bags of compost. And then again, you could always order enough compost to have it delivered because you never run out of the many uses for compost.